She's the hard hitting, heavy lifting, newly crowned champion of the world. Chantelle Cameron recently became the first person from Northampton to win a world title. And a couple of months on, it's still sinking in. So what was the moment like when your, your hand was lifted in the air and you're, you're crowned the new champion? It's something that you, you dream of, because when you, when you do a sport, you always want to be the top of the game, don't you? And for me, it was always wanted to be a world champion. Hearing them words is what I, what I memorised like, for years and years. Those ambitions were formed as a young girl growing up in Northampton's Eastern District. It was there that she learnt to look after herself and where she discovered her fighting spirit. I'm glad from where I grew up as well because you did have to learn how to stand up for yourself. So especially my mum, she always made me stand up for myself so I never, never took no trouble with anyone. We are such a small town as well and we're not like Liverpool, Manchester. We don't have loads of sporting sporting activities going on. We have the Saints, the Cobblers, so to be a female boxer as well and to achieve it, it's, it's great. Yeah, I feel like I've done my family proud and my friends proud. It's now been a couple of months since Chantelle was crowned world champion. She's now got her eyes set on a unification fight in early 2021, hopefully with fans present. Having already won the WBC belt, Chantelle will now try to unify the super lightweight division. But a mega fight against the undisputed lightweight champion Katie Taylor looks like a long shot. I don't think it's going to happen, if I'm being realistic about it. I don't think it's going to happen. Obviously, I'm mandatory for her, but I've been mandatory for over a year now, so I'm not going to hold my breath anymore. I'm going to focus on my career and focus on winning the belts at super lightweight. And even if Chantelle and Taylor don't ever meet in the ring, they're both united in their quest to leave a legacy outside it. People like you and Katie Taylor, do you think you could be the role models for the future generations? I can remember when I first went into a boxing gym, I was the only girl and I hated it because it was just, there's all eyes on me because boxing is a male dominated sport, but that's changing. And before when you used to box, you'd be like that woman boxer, but now it's just the boxer. And I think that's a massive credit to the sport because we're not just a woman boxer anymore. We're just the same as a member of a boxer. The perfect inspiration for the stars of tomorrow and living proof that sometimes dreams really do come true. Andy Ward, ITV News, Northampton. You don't want to do it all.